Hi, this is Rachel Vandenhall, and I'm going to be sharing with you about the tool ThingLink. I signed up for a teacher account, and I'd say that'd be the most helpful. I'm going to, first of all, show you how to create your own ThingLink, and then I'll show you some other ways to explore on ThingLink. So you go to this red button up here, Create. Basically, you upload an image from either a hard drive, web, you can import it from Facebook, or from Flickr. So you choose an image, and I'm going to choose an image of adjectives, that's something that we study in fifth grade. So once you choose your image, it'll come up here. And the point of ThingLink is that you can attach content to this image. So I'm going to click to add and tag. And you're going to want to choose an icon for that tag. I'm going to choose an A here because I want it to be the first one to remember. This is where you link your image, you use a link or an image address. So I'm going to use this game I want students to play about adjectives and adverbs. So I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to paste that here. I can also type something. Um, I'm going to tell students, please play this game. So this might be something that I use on my smart board and show to students or that I share the link with and that students work on on their own. So then we're going to save this tag. Okay, I'd also like to do another tag. Um, this time I'm going to search for content on the ThingLink website. So I'm going to look up a sleeping kitten. All right, so there is a video here. I already previewed it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this one. And I'm gonna change my icon to B. It's the second thing I want students to look at. And please watch the video and write down three adjectives to describe this kitten. And I'm gonna save that tag as well. So now I have two tags on my image. Feel free to do more than that. Change the title um, because it usually defaults to the last thing that you typed in. So then I'm going to save my image. Now this is where you can either go back and edit your image if you don't like how it turned out. Touch it. That means that you're kind of liking it and that'll go in a category on your profile. Sharing it. So with sharing it, um, if you do do Facebook or Twitter with students, you can share it to there or email. You can also get the link from here as well. Another option is to post it. I'm going to post it to a channel. And when you post it to a channel, you can view it in a slideshow format. And automatically, if you sign up for the teacher one, you'll get a channel called Students of and then your name. So I'm going to post it to that channel. All right, then I'm going to go back to my account here. I'll show you one other thing I did on a novel, The K. I tagged a couple of different things. This one is an article, if we go to this, um, and then the students had to find three facts about the author. Another one is you can add um, your own Google Doc that you've created, and I would get students to type on this one. Um, that's just easy to do. You have to just get the shareable link. Then I also have a video clip here of a part of the K, the movie. And then I have a little another video here on about the setting of the story. So these just play right on here. Um, and this will just play right on here and you can view it with students. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is um, that this is your site. However, students will also be able to go on this even if they don't have an email. You go to your groups there and students of Rachel Vandenhall, you are the manager of the group so you can manage the group. You can register students to the group without requiring an email address. You just have to make sure to write down their password and their email and login for your students. Okay, and that's free to do as well. One last thing I want to show you is you can use this search button and explore what other people have already created on ThingLink and you can use what they've created. So for example, I could type in the Eiffel Tower. 
and different things come up here. I'm going to go to this map of France. Say students are studying about France. There's a bunch of different links on this one. This is more, some of these links are more the upgraded version, but you can use what someone's already created. They have video clips and pictures. Now you can do something neat and you do remix. When you hit remix, that means you can make what someone already made into your own by adding some more tags. So I could tag and add something that's more specific to my class. So that's all I have for you now. I think that ThingLink is a great resource for teachers and would be valuable in sharing in the class and having students view on their own computers or maybe even having students creating their own ThingLinks. Thanks for watching.